Local researchers are revealing interesting findings about soup fin shark and why they're here off the coast of San Diego. In this Earth 8 report, Neda Rampur explains why it's important that we learn as much as we can about these mysterious creatures. Here at La Jolla Shores, a lot of scientists refer to this area as a nursery. This is where a lot of pregnant animals come, like sharks and rays. The water considered warmer, calmer than much of the West Coast. And this latest study on soup fin sharks, they found that every three years these sharks are coming here, some pregnant with 40 to 50 pups. Yes, you heard that right. 40 to 50 pups from one female soup fin shark. And get this, some of those pups likely have different daddy sharks. That's because one female shark may have several male partners, meaning those babies growing inside are alongside their step siblings. That's one fascinating part recently discovered about soup fins. Another finding after tagging and tracking these mysterious creatures with acoustic technology for seven years, they come back to La Jolla pregnant every three years. Unlike leopard sharks, which come back annually. So what they don't get in terms of frequency, they make up for in sort of the size of the litter. Andy Nozel, a shark scientist with Scripps and a professor at University of San Diego, says this knowledge will help protect the critically endangered species. It's very fortunate that the pregnant soup fins are spending so much time in La Jolla because that's um, mostly protected. Uh, from fishing, uh, from fishing activities. Um, but in many parts of the world, the pregnant females are not protected. In other parts of the world, soup fin sharks are food and are victims of overfishing. Because I think in San Diego, we don't realize there's a whole part of the world that they're eating sharks. I mean, is that what's happening? In many parts of the world, shark meat and ray meat are the only sources of protein, or at least the only ones that are affordable. Soup fin sharks will give birth a bit further north between the Channel Islands and the Bay Area. They also have been spotted near Washington and further south near Baja. But they're also in South America, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, and Europe. And Nozel says managing these populations accordingly is key. But in many cases, we can manage very carefully fish populations so that fishing can still occur. People can still get that source of protein. People can still keep their jobs. But we do so in a way that's very careful based on the science so that we have those populations for forever, hopefully. In California in the 1940s and 50s, these sharks were killed for their large livers, rich with vitamin A. And now that we have synthetic vitamin A, the soup fin sharks are left alone, and they're multiplying, especially in San Diego's marine protected zones. And for any of you worried about the idea of sharks cruising San Diego's coast, it can be unsettling to hear that there are tons of sharks off our coast, but almost all of them are completely harmless to people. And we should actually be excited that there's so many different kinds of sharks off our coast because it means that our, our marine environment is healthy. Soup fin sharks will start arriving here to our coastline in about a month. They typically stay from April through the fall. And this is where they're thriving. They're multiplying. And Nozel hopes to see this happen in populations around the world so they can no longer be in that critically endangered category. For News 8, I'm Netta Iranpour.